Okay, so you're gonna make a solution of uh, baking soda and water, two tablespoons of baking soda and 250 milliliters of water. You'll repeat that for two tablespoons of Epsom salt, 250 milliliters of water, two tablespoons of table salt, 250 milliliters of water. Here's another example, two tablespoons of lemonade mix and 250 milliliters of water, all the way down through F, G, citric acid, H, sugar-free, sugar-based lemonade mix, I, um, sugar, and another solution, J, cornstarch, and 250 milliliters of water. So once you have all those made in beakers, uh, you'll be able to pour them out into the, the large and small cups. The two cups uh, on this end, though, olive oil, you won't put in the water. Um, you'll just put 250 milliliters in a beaker, and then you'll pour out the olive oil, and coconut oil, you'll scoop. Um, by the teaspoon or tablespoon into the corresponding cup. So let me show you how you distribute it then. So here's the baking soda, a large cup, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine small cups. I'm gonna distribute 100 milliliters into the large cup, about, and then 10 milliliters about into the remaining uh, nine cups. And that could be, you know, you could be slightly different amounts in each, but a little over 10 milliliters would be good. So I'm gonna to try to equally distribute that. Or maybe make another batch if needed. So you're just trying to have enough for kids to get a few drops to put into each bin of their ice tray. So a large one that has 100 milliliters and small ones that have about 10. Do it again for each of these down the way. Uh, again for C through J. So let me take out all the F's. There'll be one large F and some small ones. into this. Okay, so I've distributed that. I keep repeating that until I have each of these cups filled with a large amount of material and these cups filled with a small amount. Okay, so I have two groups of materials ready here. This group is gonna go into one bin and notice that their cup for C is a large cup of material rather than a small. And here's another group's set of materials and notice for theirs they have a large cup of F instead of a small cup. That's how each group will be distributed. One group will have a large cup for A instead of small, one group will have a large cup for B instead of small, etc. down the list. That large cup of materials is the one that they'll add to each of the others uh, when they test them in their ice trays.